listening to Canapornia with your host, MoFo, only on LA Talk Radio. So, what do you get when you mix weed and porn together? Canapornia! You are now tuned in to Canapornia. Now here's your host, the one and only, Mofo. Yes, yes, yes. All right, here we go. We are on air. Canapornia, cannabis and porn from California. The 20th episode. And uh, across from me, we had a cancellation tonight. But you know who didn't cancel and never cancels? She'll kick your ass, but she won't cancel. Mistress Harley. That's right. Thank you. Mistress Harley. Uh, our other guest was, was, was supposed to be Saya's song, uh, but she texted me, you know, uh, something urgent came up and whatever. And, uh, but, you know, we'll reschedule her. But let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, wow, what a weekend. It was a crazy weekend. Like the last week, man, it's been kind of crazy, kind of, um, I don't know, a little bit too much fucking like negative shit. Like I feel like the last week, like, oh, uh, enough already. Not enough getting <laughs> high and watching yeah, porn. Exactly. But, you know, I, I got to give a, um, um, two fucking, you know, I didn't bring it. I'm running super late tonight. I was, I was going to bring some whiskey and take some shots of whiskey with my guest to uh, the Godfather, right? Hugh Hefner. Um, and then yesterday, Tom Petty. But that was sad too. And that was pretty That was pretty crazy to both of them. And then of course, you know, um, it's fucked up what happened in Vegas. The guy's just a fucking evil piece of shit asshole. That's all he is. You know, I don't get into the politics, how, why, or whatever. To me, that's, what this guy was whatever reason he's just a fucking evil asshole and uh hopefully you know people everybody recovers because you know the problem is a lot of times in mass shootings like that you know people they don't think about the survivors the ones who were wounded because you know a lot of times you you hear oh a person was shot in the leg you're like "Ah, all right but no, a lot of these people, like, they never, like, get to use that leg again like they used to or they're affected the rest of their life. They have pain, you know, 24-7. So I just want to make sure that, you know, uh, everybody, you know, wishes luck for these uh, survivors. Hopefully they recover from their injuries. And, um, and you know, to the people who lost ones, you know, hopefully, you know, you, you, this will, you know, you'll, you will, they, better days are coming. You know, better days are coming. Just hang in there. All right. That's enough of that. Here we go. Mistress Harley. Um, I found you on Twitter, right? And uh, right away I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> all my guests are through Twitter. All of them. And, uh, you know, I just follow, I mainly follow adult entertainers, okay? Um, because... They're just the better guest, <laughs> you know, for a lot of different reasons. But um, anyway, so usually what happens is I'll, uh, you know, I'll be on my Twitter. Then all of a sudden I'll see you whatever for, for whatever reason on my timeline. And this is before I'm even following you. And I'm like, oh, shit. And right away I'll follow you, mm-hmm. you know, just from just from that avatar. Oh, yeah. My hot pictures. Definitely. Yeah. So just from that avatar, that gets me right away. You know, so if you're out there, performers listening, you got to have a cool, hot ass avatar that that alone will make people go to your page. At least look at it. Uh, Just my perverted ass. I'm going to follow you right away. So anyway, so I went to your, um, you know, your uh, Twitter. And uh, what I like about Mistress Harley as she her timeline, she mixes it up. It's not just like (laughs) one thing. Yeah. You know, and I love that. And uh, because then instead of because to me, like there's two types of Twitter, right? There's the ones that are just basically like a long ass commercial. Mm -hmm. Uh, Buy this, go here, uh, you know, whatever. But then there's ones that are like it's half and half. They're promoting, but they're also socializing. 
Yeah, and being real, because that's yeah. really what's more interesting to yeah. fans is even they want the hot, sexy photos, and they want to know where your website is, but they also want to know like what you're watching on Netflix right now. Yeah, and then like your, and then like the clips that you do post on your Twitter are always hot as fuck, but <laughs> they're over right there. Yeah. You know, you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I like that little six-second gif yeah. that's like here, like I was really gonna happy. get a hard on. <laughs> and no time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's a. Uh, what's your Twitter? Mistress Harley is uh, at techdom t e c h d o m m e, and uh, you can find me at mistressharley.com. Okay, go to her Twitter uh, if if you don't have it, and uh, you'll like it. You, you'll always be on there. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so that's how I find you. Then you know, I hit you up. Hey, I would love to have you. Right away, you respond, yeah, you know, cool, sounds good. And, uh, and that's how it works. That, that's how I get all the guests for my, uh, for my show here is uh, basically on Twitter because I just got on Instagram like a couple months ago. Me too. My Instagram's not like super, super yeah. well kept. <laughs> yeah, to there it's more like seems like people are more of in a rush. Like they're just scrolling through. Whereas Twitter, I don't know, Twitter for me is more effective. Uh, Especially like for this show and to promote my clothing line, which is mofowearstore.com. Dude, I got to get you in some mofo wear. Sure. I always take You're, free stuff. You hot, <laughs> hot as fuck. Yeah. Um, uh, so anyway, so Mrs. Harley was cool coming on the show and now here, here she is. Um, and that's what always trips me out because uh, sometimes people will hit me up. Hey, Mofo, you always act like, you know, like you don't know these girls or whatever. I go, well, I don't, <laughs> you know, because I mean, I shot porn, but the last the last porn I shot was in 2007. Yeah, that's I a think. long, long time ago for porn. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of people, I think, were, you know, thinking, oh, he's going to have a lot of girls on from the he knew back then. But the fact is, in porn and adult entertainment, a lot of people don't hang around that long. They kind of come and go, especially in porn now porn it's quick like they get in it seems they're around for maybe like six months then they're gone and then the ones that do really good and know how to handle their business they're around a few years more you know but um for a lot of people it's not a career it's just like getting you through college or getting you through a yeah. thing that you're trying to do which is totally fine like no judgment on how long anyone spends in the industry but i think successful people end up sticking with it and then yeah. you know you're like okay well now i just do this now well people who are professional they're making it you know it's a career it's a business for them you know but anyway okay so here we go mistress harley if you uh what i like is her bio i always read people's bios and then um and i was looking at your bio i went to your website now kind of tell me and tell the audience what exactly is a tech dome what do you mean by that so i coined the phrase tech dom because it's dom, I, i'm saying dome. yeah it's all right you just, <laughs> Fuck. you're just not in that world baby <laughs> well i am now <laughs> Um, I put the two words together like tech for high tech and dom for dominant because one of the things that I started doing in addition to like making clips and um, doing like pro dominatrix type stuff was taking over people's computers and dominating them through their technology. So for example, like a guy might approach me and say, Mistress Harley, I want you to like block me from watching porn and I want you to only let me watch porn like when I've done certain things or I want you to make me do something. Mm. And then I go in their computer and I install all kinds of software. I can install ransomware that makes you like pay me whenever I want oh, for fuck. guys who are into financial domination. Uh, I can like get all your contacts for like blackmail play. So I can like threaten to email your mom if you're bad. So it's kind of this idea of taking technology and using it as part of your pro dominatrix yeah. like deal. Okay. If Mrs. Harley ever comes over your house, don't let her run your computer. <laughs> <laughs> that's all i know <laughs> yeah but i think my, i think my wife though has some shit on my computer yeah i'm pretty sure she has uh some spyware or jizzware or whatever they call yeah, it yeah she's got like a little key logger yeah. to see what you're oh. typing in does she catch you all the time where she's like what were you doing at 3 a.m last night when you said you were coming to bed yeah she'll be like what's all that fucking she mail hmm? ah <laughs> like they're you really know? pretty i can't help it i thought it was a girl <laughs> no, no really it did no um Okay, and what about the 
fin dom. Okay, so that's financial domination, which is specifically a fetish where women like me get off on getting like tons of money and guys get off on giving the money to me without necessarily anything else being involved. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's hella, that's power. hella sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. That's crazy. Now, you... Okay, being a dom, how do you get, like, how do you get clients? I mean, I've just put myself out there. I have been in the BDSM community as recreationally for probably the last 10 years. Uh -huh. And then um, I started doing some, like, dominatrix stuff at my local dungeon. And uh, people really wanted to play with me. They'd see pictures of my scenes or they'd see videos. And they really want to play with me. They started offering me money to do that. Yeah. You know, kind of just like a natural evolution. And uh, then I just started making so much money and like learning about some of these other fetishes too, like financial domination, where it's yeah. like, okay, well guys just pay me and then I just like live my life, like great. And uh, so I have like a website, I have Twitter, I also do a ton of media. I was on The Doctors on CBS like two weeks ago and Gadget just did a filming with me last week. So, you know, I just put myself out there and people who identify with the fetish and who think I'm hot just kind of end up in my clutches. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, I get it. I get it. And what's good? Okay. What's got to help you too is your look. I mean, I mean, you got a fucking uh uh a look that's like intimidating. She's hot as fucking sexy, but she's tall, voluptuous, long legs, all tattooed. To me, that's selling it. Like you're the complete package to me. I am the complete package. That's so you know? true. Like like if Okay, how do okay? If, uh, how do I say it? Okay, if, if if let's just say normal chick, right, with no tattoos, she's not very, I don't know, tall, and she doesn't have like big tits and the big thighs, that kind of voluptuousness and thickness. It's like, uh, I, I it doesn't sell it for me as far as being a dominatrix. Everyone's got their own flavor, you know, yeah. and everyone likes what they like. But I no, think but I'm just telling you like what I like <laughs> and uh, and like and what I'm saying is you just it's crazy. You know, what you remind me of Did you ever see um, it's an old movie from the 60s or 70s. It's called Ilsa, the she wolf. Yes. I have okay. seen Elsa. I, I had that T-shirt. <laughs> now, now, a lot of, like a lot, a lot of people that watch my children into horror movies and stuff like that, like I am. Oh, me too. And uh, am I right or not? Right? Would you mind just uh, standing, sure, like with your hands in your waist, kind of like that pose? Tell me this. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Look at the tattoos. One well, and the ass, but wow. See that? Oh, I love that look. The light skin, the tattoos, and then the colored hair. And then you got the big, beautiful eyes. The oh. big eyes sell it, right? Big eyes and big thighs. Oh, <laughs> my God. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. Now, now, what about you? Do you feel your look sells it more, gets you more, or is it a different audience? Not so much a bigger audience. I just think everybody has a flavor they like. You know, yeah. some guys are into like, uh, you know, short no girls tattoos. or no tattoos yeah. or small boobs or like whatever. And like, I think everybody's allowed to have their flavor. But uh, I also looked like this before I got involved in any of this industry. When I used to work in high tech, I used to be a librarian and I had like tattoos on my face and like oh. crazy hair. And so uh, this was just always what I liked. And I think it happens to also be what a lot of my fans like. She's living the life she wants. Hell yeah. Not what other people want. Fuck yeah. Right? Oh. <laughs> no, you can cuss. Sorry. Right. No, you can cuss. You can cuss all you want. Good. Uh, no. Fuck yeah. <laughs> She's you know, that's the slogan of my of my clothing line. It's called Living the Life I Want. Uh wait a minute. It says it's on the back, god damn it. It does. It does say living the life I want. That's what it's yeah. all about. Yeah. And um the front is California Sinners. Most of where store that from. Um Yeah, cause I mean, you, that look you have is, is, um, still like controversial. Like, like I think, cause I think the mistake a lot of people make, right? Like you and me that have a lot of tattoos. 
I think sometimes we, we feel that a lot of people are like us because we hang out with people like us and living in LA, but like friends of mine, like they say, once you leave like California and you start going more in, you don't see it that much and you start standing out like a motherfucker. That's totally so, true. Especially a girl. Yeah. You know, then you with your curves, your height and all that. Like, how is it for you? Like when you, okay, when you go like to places to hang out and it's not that look, how do you feel? Do you love it? Do you like, do you know what I mean? It, or do you kind of like, eh, I get in the corner? I feel a little like fish out of water. Like uh, I went to DC a couple of years ago for like a wedding and I was in a fancy restaurant, you know, and I was like there with everybody else spending all the money we all had and just right. like enjoying myself and people in suits, like their mouths were on the ground, you know, just, and I wasn't even dressed like scandalously. But I was, do you like that? Um, no, I think mm. that it, it, it smacks of judgment and it smacks of like people who are afraid of what they don't understand or jealousy. Uh -huh. Like it's just usually people's negativity coming at you, you know, when you're there all like, oh my God. But you don't ever like pissing them off that you're pissing them off or scaring them? I think I did when I was, when <laughs> yes, I was I do. like, <laughs> when I was in high school, I was all about that. Like I was right. all about like pissing no, off I'm the still, establishment. I'm 55 and still <laughs> like that. I'm still a fucking little asshole. I'm just that little 11 year old asshole. I don't think I think about other people that much, to yeah. be honest. Like, if I'm just like, yep, everyone's looking at me, that's normal. Where is my Coke? Like, <laughs> yeah. No, I think I'm the opposite. If I feel I'm annoying you, I'm really going to annoy you, motherfucker. Yeah, you're just going to I'm going to fucking sit it. right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, two totally different approaches. Two totally different approaches. To be fair, like, if you want me to, like, harass you, you have to pay me money. So it's like, if people are just looking at me, like, that's not enough for my attention we forgot yeah. i forgot i was talking to the fin dom mistress harley that's right mistress harley.com there you go <laughs> now um i want to okay like you how how many years you've been doing this about three mm -hmm. like full time nothing else you know yeah more than dabbling now how how big it like uh here in la is like the the dominatrix road like is there a lot it's of huge there are yeah. a lot of doms here and actually there's like a, a the official dom con dominatrix convention happens uh -huh. here in la there's when one is in, that uh, mm, i don't quite remember because i'm not i've been invited to the one here in la but there's one happening in uh, new orleans this week yeah so it's really a huge community and because of the adult film community is here and so many of us also make film like you know it, there's a huge community here yeah i want to go to the next one yeah, you want to go to DomCon? I'll let you know when it happens. Yeah, and pass out some cards and stuff. Hell yeah, get some people for your show. Yeah, because I love having you. Uh, can I say Doms? Yeah, I love having you Doms on my show. Ah. Like, cause uh, uh, two weeks ago we had on uh, Eve Battelle. She does a lot of like of uh, oh god, I think she said like feet stuff, foot stuff. Oh yeah, feet are um, very popular. Male emancipation, like. Kicking in the balls. Oh yeah. <laughs> what, what did I say? Emancipation oh, is fuck. like when you free your slaves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll never free my sex slaves. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. <laughs> no. Um. Okay. Oh shit. Stoner moment. What were we talking about? Uh. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh forget oh ball busting yeah ball busting totally okay, do We're you do that hell yeah <laughs> oh no i'll no. kick a guy in the nuts for uh, almost nothing oh, <laughs> oh and i'm wearing his hat because my hair came fucked up that's why i'm wearing a fucking hat but anyway um okay i got some questions then because hell yeah because we kind of uh doesn't, that looks like an alien huh a little bit right a little bit mm-hmm mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to show you guys later what I'm looking at because I don't want you to think, what the fuck's wrong with Mo? Yeah, I'm just kind of <laughs> I'm humoring you a little bit. Yeah, no, but I think it's a, it's a door. It's it's on the door. It's like a clothes hanger. Oh, no, no. I see it now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This makes for compelling radio. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, the ball busting. Yeah. He, okay, here's my question. How does a fucking guy keep taking it? Eventually, isn't there permanent damage? I mean, how many kicks can you take to the balls by stilettos? That's a great question. How many kicks can you take to the balls? How many licks does it take <laughs> to get? Um, 
Now, for yeah. everyone, it's different. It's like some guys, it's like one swift kick to the nuts and they're on the ground crying and screaming. Yes. And other guys, they can stand there and take it. I've had guys <laughs> ask to be tied up so they can't fall down. Are so you sure they have balls? Kicking them in the nuts. I don't really check. I just, you know, I go for the general area and right. just give it my all. Damn. And I'm six feet tall, so a kick from me is like... That's significant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you look strong. You look like fit. I work out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what uh, do you ever watch the um, what do they call that? The fitness. The, um, oh, my God. I can't think of the, the first word. It starts with a C. Um, something fitness. Uh, oh, my God. It's not bodybuilding, but it's not. Crossfit. Crossfitness. Mm. What do you think about those bodies? Those girls are getting humongous. I mean, I think right on if that's what you want to do. Like, I like a little treadmill, like a little weightlifting, a little yeah. yoga. But like, that's intense. Those people are intense, and I think maybe uh, they're putting like some other feelings and things into their workouts. But that's right. great. They all have abs. Their abs are amazing. Yeah. No, I just, uh, I don't know. I, I mean. I've always like admired it. I've always admired like powerlifters, bodybuilders, things like that. And uh, the CrossFit girls, I, okay, I think they're hot. The CrossFit girls, I think you girls are hot <laughs> because they're not as cut up as the female bodybuilders. You know, the whole veiny and um, it's more of a, I don't know, to me it's like more feminine without all the definition and the veins and the all that. Like, who I want on this show, I don't know if you've heard of her. Have you heard of Brandy May? I haven't. Oh, well, she's a, she's a dominatrix, but she's humongous. And she's like a CrossFit girl or whatever. And I want to get her on here. And she's also known for um, the size of her clitoris. Oh, wow. It's like known for it. Known for <laughs> it. Worldwide. Like right, China. Brandy World, yeah, like, mm, yes, like China. I miss China. You know, now that you mentioned China... Our other guest was from Korea. I was going to ask her a bunch of questions about Korea. I could fake answer them for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to Korea. That's as mm -hmm. long as you have no follow-up questions. What's the farthest you've been from here? Oh, geez. I've been around the world. I was just Oh, like talk to me about it. Dude, mm -hmm. I've never been. Uh, well, I've never. No, I've never been out of the United States because to me, like TJ doesn't count. No, it doesn't. It's, it's like come on, just right there. Yeah. Um, no, I went to like Cambodia and Thailand a few years ago and just loved it there. It was beautiful. The people were nice. The food. Oh, my God. I just want to eat my way through like every foreign land I visit. Yeah. So Now, how were they with your look? Uh, they all thought that I was a gangster because in Southeast Asia, if you have full body tattoos, you're like a gangster. Mm. <laughs> and so people asked me, they were like, are you like, are you like a gang member? And I was like, no. And then occasionally Chinese tourists would, I thought they wanted me to take their picture. Like they'd hand me their camera to take their picture. And mm. they were like, no, no, no. They wanted me in the picture. So it was like husbands and wives posing with me and having well, a third party cool. take a picture. And so I think like they must, there must be people at home looking through all their travel photos. Like who's that giant tattooed white girl? <laughs> yeah, you're probably towering like, over all of them. Yeah. And me just like, Hey, hey, everybody! Yeah. Sure, you can take a picture with me. Like, <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Now, where were you born? I was actually born in Hawaii. Oh wow! And I was raised there like most of my childhood, and then went to San Francisco and was in the Bay Area until I moved back, uh, moved down here. In you think Hawaii. you'll ever go back? No, Hawaii or like Oahu? I go visit Hawaii all the time, and yeah. I even have property there. Yeah. And family. That's cool. My I visit my family too, but <laughs> my wife and I, my wife and I had our um, ten year anniversary there. Oh, nice. Yeah, and uh, no, honey, I'm not gonna forget. In uh, two weeks, we're going on this cruise, huge cruise, for our thirtieth anniversary. Oh, congratulations! Thirty years of begging her for anal. <laughs> She still won't let me fuck her in the asshole, dude. You got to buy her a Rolex. Oh, come on. And I have a small dick. It's not like it's going to hurt her. A Rolex. A Rolex. Shit. <laughs> I don't know. How badly do you want it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, think I, could, I don't think I could sell that much coke. <laughs> but, um, yeah, 30 years, me and my wife, um, we got married on October 17th, 1987. And it's gonna be thirty years, so we're gonna go on this cruise. It's my first time on a ship. I don't, I don't really like cruises because I feel trapped. 
<laughs> oh, I know what a few people have told me that. Now, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Trapped. Well, you're the, the room no, or when no, you're, you're on the ship? No, you're just like the whole place. You're surrounded by other people. And if uh -huh. you want to just like fuck off, like it's there's always like people there trying to make you do stuff. Like a paranoid feeling? Uh, I don't know. I just like I like being alone sometimes. Right. <laughs> Well, it sounds like I better not fucking get high on the ship. Oh, man, you're going to have to get high on that ship. Sometimes. Like, you better bring all your shit with you, man. <laughs> you're going to be so bored. <laughs> I mean, I relaxed. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't. No, I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, yeah, that's, uh, we're doing that, I think, in two weeks or whatever. Um, okay. Uh, the, uh, going back to the, to the dominatrix thing, how long would you say it? Like, is it more important to like be well known in that, and like in your community, or is it like just more important to how? Do, what do we get more like promoting and marketing on the social media and all that, or is it a combination of both? No, I mean, I really think there are so many men who are looking for dominatrixes to fulfill a variety of fantasies wow, and fetishes. They, oh, yeah, absolutely. There's such a huge market that if you put yourself out there and you make yourself available and then you actually build a reputation of being good with your with your clients mm -hmm. and your fans, because those people talk to each other. You know, they will share like, hey, did you session with Mistress Harley? Oh, Do you know yeah. what she's yeah, yeah, like? Yeah. Does she let you come? Like, you know, they <laughs> they they have whole like four forums and threads where they yeah. talk to each other and so i just think if you're like a good practitioner basically and you, you word know, of mouth yeah word of mouth will get you there yeah. and then once you become well known in the community that's when like you start getting press and interviews and guest appearances and like that kind of stuff and so i think i think notoriety follows people who are in the industry for long enough and build mm -hmm. a good enough reputation okay now i noticed on um on your timeline, you have like uh, different things um, to go here, to go there, whatever. You can go ahead and mention those because right now you only mentioned your the oh website. Oh my god! Well, um, obviously, I'm on Twitter at TechDom. You can find my books on Amazon. Just what are the books about? I have all kinds of books on tech domination, how to have a female-led relationship. Um, how to like become a sissy boy for guys who are like really into feminization. I have a Holy Harley Bible where you can read the Bible, but we've replaced God with Harley. So every like prayer that you do is for Mistress Harley. Where do you have that? For, where do you have that for sale at? Amazon.com. Yeah, uh -huh. and I think all those books are also in like you know uh, the associated like. Barnes you should have brought one of those. Showed on the. Oh my God! I have sissy. What's the cover? I mean, there's all kinds of covers. I think the Holy Harley Bible has an upside down cross on it because I'm just like irreverent as fuck i think all religions are stupid yeah so unless you're praying to me and then you're a brilliant genius that's why if you <laughs> notice if you notice you're gonna like this what i have tattooed on my hand it says uh believe in yourself oh i like that huh yeah you and me are on the same page yeah yeah um so so you write you write these books uh now the books are they, because they're on Amazon, are they, can you have dirty language in them? Is there more? Oh, yeah. I mean, all literature, you know, you can't censor literature, really. Uh -huh. uh, people can argue about pornography all they want, but, like, books have been banned, like Tropic of Cancer. I'm not nearly big enough to uh, be in the banned book category. I'm sure if someone cared enough, they'd ban my books. <laughs> right. But, um, but no, you can write whatever you want. I have, uh, I even have like a journal of a slave that served me for a full year. I turned that into a book and you can, so you can buy um, it and read from like his perspective. Do you see pictures of him or a picture of him? I don't think there are any pictures of him in the book, but. Uh, you should have took a picture from the back. <laughs> Just yes. his back. Yes. So um, you kind of get a like a. Hmm. But, you know, I'm kind of everywhere. Like, I'm on Patreon. I'm on OnlyFans. So if you Google Mistress Harley, you will find my ass. Like. Now, <laughs> Mistress Harley seems like that would be a popular name. It's and not. I've trademarked it, and it's mine. So, <laughs> right. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm surprised that you were able to. Because you said mm -hmm. you were only, like, into. Well, when did you get the name? 
Uh, I think I trademarked it a couple of years ago, but you know, the thing about a lot of adult performers and a lot of people in the adult industry is even though they're in this industry, they're making money, they do not treat what they do like a business. And so right. like a lot of them don't pay taxes, a lot of them don't incorporate as an LLC, a lot of them don't protect their intellectual property. And I think a lot of the people that get burnt out are people who don't own the stuff they made. You know, if someone can steal all the porn that you made and sell it for thousands of dollars and you don't get a cut of that why would you stay in that industry yeah. but if you own everything you make and every idea you have you trademark and copyright and you get a fucking lawyer like everybody else like every other business that makes money then you're going to be successful yeah you know when when this show uh when this show is over uh it'll be on latalkradio.com tomorrow but it will also be on my youtube channel which is a uh, youtube.com slash canapornia all the shows are on there and they're all uncensored. Um, I would make sure you watch this show because uh, Mr. Hardy just laid down some knowledge. Hell fucking yeah. I usually charge yeah. people money for that knowledge. <laughs> yeah. No, that was some pretty cool info there. Business info. Yeah. That was pretty cool of you. Thank you. Hopefully people, fuckers appreciate that. Yeah, fuckers. <laughs> so, okay. So what you're... Like, I know what you're saying, because adult entertainers, right? The adult entertainment business. It's like, uh, I, I don't know about the, the, the dominatrix or the, or the fetish world, but like in porn, like too many girls just get into it. They show up and fuck on video and that's it. They pay no other attention to it. No time on it. But like you said, you know, like, hey, maybe I should check my name you yeah. know trademark my name make sure your this, name isn't that, owned that, by that. somebody else you yeah know? yeah because what sucks sometimes a lot of times like when you're getting into adult entertainment or whatever if you know your porn name i wouldn't tell anybody i would register it first and make social media accounts everywhere instagram snapchat twitter uh facebook and uh let's say your name is pot producer right <laughs> I would get podproducer.com, podproducer.net, pod, all the websites you can get, and then, you know, the trademarking and all that stuff. Absolutely. And when you do that, all of your search engine shit is great because you're the only one. And so, like, there are some other Mistress Harleys in, like, other countries that don't respect America's copyright law and all that stuff. Right. But they're so low on the totem pole in terms of, like, their SEO and their registrations and everything else that you can't even find those people. Like, if you Google Mistress Harley, I'm, like, the top 15 things. Yeah. And then it's, like, articles about me. So, so uh, that's how you really have to like carve out your branding as somebody in adult entertainment. Okay. Yeah. Now, okay. I w now I want to get into the different kinds of uh, like in your, I don't know, we could call it like, you know, the, the fetish biz or fetish scene because there's all kinds of different things. It's not just the ball busting um there's even things like tickling. Or, yeah, there are million them. fetishes. Like, get, uh, kind of give me give me some info on those. Like, how, like how about how many? Like, how much different stuff do you do? I mean, I do a lot of stuff as long. Actually, I do almost anything as long as it doesn't like actually gross me out or mm -hmm. it doesn't like violate my own personal like boundaries. Right. So like, I don't do like piss and like that kind of stuff. Like that's just not for me. Other people are really into it. Um, but I do like sissification, like feminizing men and turning them into girls and like teaching them how to be girly. And I do a lot of like humiliation, a lot of blackmail fetish where guys like give you their information and then you play blackmail them to make them do things. Um, obviously financial domination, obviously tech domination. Um, I do like foot fetish, I, like anything that's really a dominant act. So like any time like a woman has power over her submissive, you know, it's kind of like, okay, are feet the thing that like will make you roll around on the floor and do anything I want? Ha <laughs> ha, right. you know, kiss my fucking feet. But, yeah. um, but like there are very few things I, I find that I don't want to do, like especially intellectually. Like, you know, people are into a lot of role playing. I have videos where I'm a role playing a therapist, role playing an alien, role playing a 
you know, a, a babysitter, just like a bunch of things that I'm not, you know. Yeah. And so you kind of get into all these different fantasy worlds. And as long as I'm comfortable, like that's what I do. And if I'm uncomfortable, I don't do that. So like I don't do nudity. I don't do uh, like penetration of any kind with any other like submissive. You, you mean uh, on you or them too? At I'm, all. I don't okay. do any penetration because I don't want any. I just don't want that. That's not for me. And I have no judgment of people that do like hardcore porn. Like if that's making you happy right. that's what you want to do like right fucking on it's just not what i want to do okay so you wouldn't fuck a guy in the asshole with a strap on dildo not for money right. <laughs> only for pleasure okay that's, that's pretty cool that's actually cooler <laughs> right yeah 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 she's down mr harley's down yeah no i love all kinds of things but i think that like most of the guys who are into me are submissive men. And so like there yeah. are privileges that submissive men don't get to have. And like, of course you want me to fuck you with a strap on. Like, that's why I'm not going to do it. Right. <laughs> wow. So a lot of it. Um, okay. When you pick, like, do you just pick, uh, how do you pick clients? Like, how do you pick? We, oh, so many of them, it. so many of them approach me, you know, and so like I get probably like 50 emails a day asking mm -hmm. for sessions or to serve me or to play with me or like any of those things, custom videos, all kinds of stuff. And so I just pick and choose, you know, what's the most appealing to me. Also, like which clients sound the most respectful and who also understand that their purpose in our relationship is to make me happy. Because a lot of guys are like, yeah, of course they want to see me naked or of course mm -hmm. they want all kinds of shit that I don't want to do but I want the clients who know that their job as a submissive man is to serve me not mm -hmm. the other way around I don't serve them okay do you do face smothering I mean I haven't recently for money I maybe I would I don't know that depends why you want me to smother your face can I use a pillow <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah uh, in case some of you guys because some some of you wonder what is face smothering Usually it's when she sits on your face. Yeah, right? like with my ass. That's about it. Yeah. And like the reason why I ask is I love ass. I'm I, sure. I, uh, that's my thing. I'm a <laughs> fucking ass man. I'm an ass connoisseur. I'm an ass worshiper. Like um, I love those kind of videos. Like I can get, I can like I can jerk off to a good face smothering video. If they're if they're showing her ass a lot and she's like talking nasty with her, oh my god! <laughs> but they don't face they don't spend enough time on that because I know they want to get to the fucking and sucking. Yeah, but dude, that just looks so hot to me. I think it's like I would do that, but the person would have to pay me like a lot, a lot, a lot of money because yeah. the privilege of having my goddess ass on their loser face is like that's thousands. Yeah, yeah. Now you sound like my wife. <laughs> Rolex. <laughs> and my wife will fart too, and I'm pretty sure she does it on purpose. She probably does. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but don't you like that? Doesn't it make you happy? No, it doesn't. Because <laughs> her her fart smell, dude. Oh my god. Yes, my wife. So she's punishing you. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Now with something you like, <laughs> she t gives you something you like, and then she punishes you with yeah, it. Yeah, she's a. Uh, Sissifying me with shit. Yeah, <laughs> with, the, with the smell of her shit. Yeah. You know what my wife does almost every fucking night. Okay, I'm fucking. I'm gonna say it. Um, okay, you know I'm watching TV and the way we have it set, I'm like in a, a, a love chair, and she's like in the sofa. So she's to my left. At least once a night, when she gets up, she has to go between us to go to do whatever. Right? She'll fart. Just to just to hurt you. Yeah, now I know that. Now that you tell me. <laughs> yeah, it's to hurt you. Uh, so I'm going to tell her tonight, you're hurting me. That's what she wants. <laughs> She'll probably giggle and maybe clap. Yeah. Tell her that's Mistress Harley approved. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. my wife always fucking does that, dude. And her timing is pretty impressive because I can't like fart on time. No, you can't. No. You can't battle that way with her. <laughs> no. Because no. you could always Dutch oven her for revenge. No, what could I battle her with? What can I battle her with? That's a good. Nah, fucking nothing really. Not physically. <laughs> so what <laughs> I'm, what I'm hearing is that your wife is running your relationship and making you suffer and that you're pathetic. So that's it sounds like go. everything is going well. <laughs> there you go. There a you lot go. of men would I'm pay in a fucking dominatrix relationship. to be in your position. Yeah. I've been in a dominatrix relationship for 29 years. Yeah. 
Oh, fuck. Does she charge you money? Uh, well, I give her my check. So yes. <laughs> she lets me have fifty bucks. <laughs> that's that's a smart woman. Do you know we have been like that since we first got married? Oh really? You know her family watches the show. They're gonna be like, what? They're gonna know all kinds <laughs> of yeah, stuff. Yeah, and now. now the guys are gonna know why I'm always fucking broke. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's why I can never chip in. Yeah. I can never chip in for some lines. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I had no fucking money. <laughs> 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 fucking, my wife has it all. But no, I mean, that she, dude. Uh, that's how no. it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's no, how she it's has. To be. She has to run this marriage because it would it, it wouldn't be around. Happy wife, happy life. Yes, yes. Thank you. Damn, Mistress Harley, fucking knows it all. It's true. Well, you're a sex expert. I am a sex expert. What does that mean? It means I'm a fucking expert at sex and all sex related things because even before I was a dominatrix, I was like a sexual adventurer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's an expert. Now shut the fuck up and get on your knees. That's, <laughs> that's what she's saying. The there money. Go. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, with the money. Yeah. Um, now, have you ever done this out of the country? Is um, it different? No, it's not really different. You know, so much of what I do is actually online. Even like I have I have clients in Kuwait. I've got clients in Saudi Arabia. I've got clients in Ugh. China, Japan, like Fucking Nigeria. Like I have clients everywhere. So like I don't even leave my house most of the time. Yeah. Now, I got to say something about Saudi Arabia. Now that you brought it up, I, I have to say it. Uh, fucking Saudi Arabia last week announced, hey, we're going to let women drive now. These motherfuckers got some fucking nerve they treat their women like shit over there um wait a minute but now they I can thought, drive so that's yeah but like, now they can drive but anyway uh you know they make them cover themselves from head to toe they can't do anything without the permission of their men all kinds of fucking like backwards shit like thousands of years ago so fuck you, Saudi Arabia. I have to say that. It's a pretty fucked place. And I'm Jewish, so I just can never go to any Jewish. of those places. Yeah. Just yeah. can't. <laughs> yeah. They don't even they don't even want you in the country. Okay, does that make you even more unique now? That I you're Jewish? I don't know. Right? No, I mean in your industry. I don't think so. There are a lot of hot Jewish chicks in porn. Oh, I know there's a lot like, of hot Jewish girls. For Shit. sure. I jerk off to a lot of them. <laughs> fuck. You don't have to fucking tell me. <laughs> hey, and there's some this is for the fucking Mexicans and uh blacks out there um there's some thick jewish girls dude there's some fucking thick jewish girls we're like middle eastern like you know <laughs> yeah no fucking oh because you know men of color we love thickness i i big am tits, very aware. big ass big legs big calves and i'm not talking about fat you guys know what i'm fucking talking about oh, yeah. that's you uh, yeah mm -hmm. that's, that's you. i have that like itty bitty waist round thing in your face you get yeah. sprung yeah, I want to get. I got to get a poster. You somehow. I think we have some on Redbubble. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, we're gonna be back on. I gotta have you back on. Cool. I gotta have you back on. You're, you're hot as fuck. You're a cool guest. You're funny and fucking smart as fuck. It's true. I have a master's degree in library and information science. Oh man. <laughs> fuck. I got an AA. Yeah, that's cool. Uh. And you're, just <laughs> and you're not gonna believe what it is in in administration of justice. You could administer that justice hard. Ooh, I like that. That's a T-shirt. I'm stealing that. You can have that. That's a free one. Yeah, I like that. I like that one. Okay. Um, now here's some questions just that I get from what's been going on in the media, whatever. Okay. Today they said that in 30 years. For, no, 20 years, 40% of men will be fucking having sex with sex robots. I believe that. Now, here's the question. Do you think that's cheating? Having sex with a sex robot? Yeah. Does it have feelings? <laughs> Can it talk to you? Does it learn to love? No, and you hope not, right? That's the whole point. I mean... How right, many are, of these how do sex feelings? robots do you I want to just have? fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point that she's a robot. Uh, sex, I don't need that shit. Sex robots are cheating. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. You fall right in love. You fall right in line with that. Because most women said, yeah, it's cheating. Yeah. And most guys said, no. <laughs> guys will say anything's not cheating. I saw a yeah. guy wearing a shirt that said, eating ain't cheating. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, Bill Clinton described, like, getting a blowjob as not sex. Like, Okay, let me ask you this. <laughs> eating a girl's pussy and she's asleep or passed out, is that cheating? 
That's not only cheating, that is rape and illegal. Okay, I've been raping my wife for 29 years. <laughs> You should I've been probably. Fu- I've been, oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> She's calling nine one one right now. She probably. You, she just learned that right this yeah. minute. Yeah. 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 Like I always wonder why there was sperm on my ass, my stomach. Oh my god, that's <laughs> definitely a rape. It's no, definitely. Assault. I don't think so. It is. It's yeah. it's illegal to have sex with an unconscious person in the state of California. Oh, just in California. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're moving to yeah, fucking Idaho then. Florida, I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, I'm going to rape on that ship right now, I'll tell you that. There you go. You're in international waters. Yes, I'm an international <laughs> rapist. That's what I am. Don't don't put that on a shirt. <laughs> no. Do not. That that might be the one that sells, okay? <laughs> Fuck. Oh. International rapist. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, okay. That, that, was, that was the first question. Here's the second one. Okay, who would you like to see a sex a sex tape of to masturbate to? Who would I like to see a sex tape of to masturbate to? I oh my god, I've no one's ever asked me that question. It's tough. Um, <laughs> it's it's all people from the WWE. <laughs> who, who, who? I watched the WWE. I love it. I mean, like I guess Roman Reigns. Like okay. he's a okay. pretty. Pretty man, like he's very pretty. Dolph Ziggler, Roman Reigns, and Dolph Ziggler together. Wait, can I keep going? Because I yeah. can think of more now. <laughs> go, go, go. Yeah, uh, like Titus O'Neil could be in that mix as well. He is very large. And then, like, what would Braun Strowman do in that match? I want to know. You know. Uh-huh. So, like, can I get a four-way? Is yes. This, like, play a player. Can I get a yes. tag team? <laughs> All four fucking each other in a square. Yeah, I would watch that. I would watch that video. Wow. Yeah. Okay, this is what I said because I thought about this. I'm I'm kind of into taboo stuff, incest, if you want to call it that. Um, I said Melania Trump and Ivanka Trump. Ah, uh, you're I should have everything taken away from no, you. No, you're what, such no. A, a bad man. No, with huge strap-on dildos, and I'm talking <laughs> uh, fisting. Uh, uh, gaping a holes, squirting. I want to see all that between those two. I think that'd be such a turn on. Because to me, Melania's a little uptight. They're both a little uptight, right? They like are you living hell lives, like. right? But you can't <laughs> you can't picture them like letting loose. Either of them, they seem so fucking like robotic, <laughs> stiff. So you just want the sex robots to be Melania Trump? Oh my god! Yeah. Yes, you want a Melania Trump? Yes, sex robot. yes. Yeah. Thank you for making that connection. You're welcome. Right. Yeah, I'm here for you. I like that. <laughs> I like that. If I'm still around, I doubt it. But if I'm still around in 20 years, I want my sex, ro- sex robots to look like Melania and Ivanka. Now, see, that's another question. Like, if your sex robot looks like a real person, is that even more cheating than if it looks like like an alien? Like, if your sex robot looks like an octopus person, then I'm going to say no cheating. But if it looks like a real human being, definitely cheating. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's deep. Yeah. Maybe too deep. I, I intellectualize need, a lot. We need to be able to smoke weed on this show. Yeah, man. I keep telling the programmers that because, yeah, but you, yeah, every show by about 10 till, I, I'm... I'm like, I feel like completely sober. What about like a volcano, like a vaporizer? That's not smoking. That's that's vaping. You can't even do that in L.A. What? It's only the city of Los Angeles. That's Can you believe so that? So sad. Fucking, it's, it's unbelievable. Okay, here's the last question. You'll like this Okay. One. You, you know Zoophilia? You know what Zoophilia I is, do, right? yeah. Look at me acting like I know what it is. You know who schooled me on it? Uh, Mistress Kara. Mm. Uh, she works over there at the stock room or whatever. And she told me about zoophilia. And, um, okay, think about this. And here you go. Ready? Okay. If an animal can give consent <laughs> and you had to pick an animal. Octopus. <laughs> an octopus. Ooh, yes. Fuck, that's a good one. I didn't even have to think about that. <laughs> that's a good one. Plus, I've watched all that, like, hentai porn shit, so. The tentacles and all that. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, so you heard that. Mistress Harley would fuck an octopus as long as it was consenting and sentient right right no i've talked to octo- i talked to octopuses they're cool, <laughs> they're, cool. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're pretty fucking kinky like real kinky i got all those arms yeah but they don't like any stone they like doing coke it's a trip i bet that's so true about them no it is they're party animals oh dude and they'll do like eight lines at once 
<laughs> yeah, I know an octopus like that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's a good one. Octopus. <laughs> Definitely. Especially like the bigger, the better. Size matters. Right. Really big that's octopus. That's too bad. But <laughs> that's too bad. But you heard it here. I think for the, this is, this is the 20th episode and all, uh, what? 30 some guests have said the same thing that sizes matter. So we're fucked. Yeah, it's that size doesn't matter is a thing that small dick men say to themselves to make themselves feel better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have to. Yeah. You got to have something. While you're you like starting so, in your face. You got to have hope. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have hope. <laughs> Keep hope alive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I always ask about the strap on dildos. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, guys don't know. There are strap on dildos for men. Yeah. And extenders you're, that yeah. you can like just put on your cock. I tell my guys to put those on all the time, but yeah, yeah, no, there, there, no. There's a lot of things you can do, and then um, you can hold a Hitachi magic wand. That's the best thing a guy with a small <laughs> dick can do. Hold the Hitachi magic wand. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so I'm so happy you said hit, uh, Hitachi, because every uh, when I ask guests what do they use to masturbate or what's their favorite sex toy, everyone has said that. Yeah, buy stock in freaking Hitachi. Like, they're going to make men irrelevant. Yeah. Well, we pretty much are. <laughs> right? I'm so glad you know that. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I know if I didn't give my check to my wife, I wouldn't be relevant. See, you're in a financial domination, dominatrix relationship. Yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. Okay. Every show, we do a fuck you. Um, and usually, it's always a government that is doing something like uh oppressive to women right it's usually what that uh but like it was i was actually doing two tonight i was gonna do one to saudi arabia but i already did it uh-huh that's a good and the next one is of course uh to that evil piece of shit uh shooter in vegas um yeah that guy is a piece of shit and so okay if you want to join me on, on three mm-hmm. i'm gonna do a big fuck you to that evil piece of shit. And I'm just going to say evil piece of shit. Okay. On three. One, two, three. Fuck, fuck you. you to that evil piece of shit. There you go. Yeah. It felt good. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. That, yeah. That was crazy. Crazy. Okay. We're almost done here. We got a couple of minutes left. If somebody wanted to contact you. Mr. For your services. <laughs> like right from scratch. Some guy right now. Yeah. On the show. Take him step by step. What would he do? You would go to mistressharley.com. Okay. You would go to the pay page and send me some money so that I even acknowledge your fucking existence. Then you would send me an email via the contact page explaining how you already sent me money and how desperately you want my goddamn attention. Yeah, That's a guaranteed response, folks. And there you go. That's, that's how you would hit up uh, Mistress Harley. Now, let's say they hit you up. Um, and they're from out of state. Like, how does that work? You, they, if it's their hotel or do you go, they go somewhere. How does all that go down? A lot of times, like I can go to someone's hotel and I do like a hotel room takeover where I bring like a dog cage and they live in the dog cage and I live in their hotel room. I also meet people at like professional dungeons. There's sanctuary LAX here in Los Angeles. There are a bunch of dungeons I can meet people Uh at, but most of the time, like I already have so much tech control over my subs that by the time I meet them in person, like I already know everything about them. I know I have access to their emails their text messages their phone their gps so like you know uh usually by the time i meet someone i've already they've already been serving me for a while Mm. okay so let's say a guy from idaho hits you up tonight online uh you it seems like it'd be i don't know more more of an experience like if he met you at one of these dungeons oh sure i mean that, be that's the kind of shit great I, experience I would be for into. him <laughs> yeah the whole dog cage and all that yeah yeah i mean it's really like a takeover now what are you usually wearing um i usually dress like how i am now or like uh-huh. i have cor- like a lot of corsets but like i always dress sexy like i even hang out at my house like dressed like this just because i'm oh, just like a bitch how hot is that yeah my husband like really enjoys it of course he does yeah of course <laughs> so of course. uh but I, I, you know my wife has great fucking legs my wife she's played soccer her whole life she lifts weights my my wife has a great body uh just thick ass thick thighs just like i like 
And um, I love it that, and she's 50 now, um, but she's still in great shape and she still wears little shorts. Yeah. Thank you, honey. That's Thank for you. you. That's, yeah. She does that's that a, for that, you. That's a big deal. Yeah. Like, I love the fact that I'm watching TV there and I just look over and there's those fucking thighs. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got to keep it alive. Yeah. I, I, I just love that. So thank you, honey, for that. Okay. So the client, you're, you're, you're usually dressed the way you are. Yeah. Or the way I want to be. Yeah. Uh, now, let's say if it's a client, can a client, um, like what's the quickest usually a client can meet you? I mean, it usu- depends on who he is. I mean, it de- the, yeah, like dollars make a big difference, but yeah. usually like you got to give me at least a couple of days because I have press appearances, I film videos, like I do all kinds of stuff. And so my yeah. schedule is usually pretty booked. Um, but it usually takes a couple of days and then, you know, I have to get a deposit to know that like you're a real person who's not trying to rip me off or waste my time and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, but usually then as long as it's within my wheelhouse of things that I like to do, and again, like this is all about me. So as long as I want to do the thing that you want me to do, like it's all gravy. A lot of times I just meet people, you know, they take me out to lunch and just like pay me a hundred dollars for me to meet them for lunch, you know? And that's like, that's just as good for me as anything else. So. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. What are you doing for Halloween? I don't know. Is there something cool going on? We're going to Lucha Vavoom, which is like a luchador burlesque show. Yeah. But uh, that's not on Halloween proper. So we're yeah. super open. Like. Yeah. I was sponsoring something and it got canceled last second. Oh, bummer. So um, I'm kind of looking around right now for um, maybe some other parties to get in- involved with. But yeah, I love Halloween. Halloween's the fucking best. Right? You get to wear a costume, like yes. more costumes. I always want more costumes. To me, that's when a lot of people in this country can be what they never can be. Right. That one fucking night or that weekend. Everyone's a slut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. It's what everyone wants to be. But yeah, and all fucking allowed. guys are perverts. Yeah, well, that's always what they want to be, too. So Yeah. You know. But a lot of guys, like... Uh, uh, I'm not going to go into that. It's, we don't have enough time. But uh, anyway, um, okay, Mr. Hardy, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Go over uh, your social media again and your website. Yeah, find me on mistressharley.com. Find me on Twitter at TechDom. You can find me on Instagram, the real Mistress Harley. Uh, I'm everywhere. Just Google my ass and you will find me. And what an ass she has. It's fantastic. Great ass, great ass. Okay, uh, like I end every show what my tattoos say uh believe in yourself and que sera sera you're listening to canapornia with your host mofo only on la talk radio